Sports welcomes you back, along with Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski, set to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. Just moments away from puck drop, Ray Ferraro's down at ringside. What are you keeping an eye on here for tonight? Both teams want to get their defense up into the rough. Man, it must be way more fun being a defenseman these days than the stay at home of years past. Now your D have to be up and layer the attack. Both teams lined up in the middle. We are ready to get things underway. The Flames take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Roberts plays it against the boards. That's turned aside from the blocker. Yeah, it's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Putting the hard hat on here. Whoa. What a hit. They've got numbers. It's a two on one. Another stop by the goaltender. After the first stop, he's in good position to make a second. Jagger's able to absorb the hit, but it knocks his helmet flying off. Do up your chin strap. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Comes up with the stop. I think he got a blocker on that one. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Pittsburgh's got possession at center. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Grabbed along the board by Suter. Great positioning by the defender. Calgary's gained possession along the boards. Here's a chance, and he comes up with it. Picked up along the boards by McInnes. Works it across to Fleury. They've got the defense outnumbered. Too much congestion in front. Scooped up along the wall by Suter. Great read, comes up with it. Slides the puck near the front of the net. Gets in front of it. Here they come on the attack. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. The Penguins win it in the defensive zone. There's the physical side. Takes it across the blue line, and they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. Thunderous use of the body of the hit. Comes up with the glove save. It's in the back of the net. He scores! James, when they look at the film tomorrow, that's not going to look very good. That's a pretty bad error that led to that goal against. Pittsburgh's got the game's first goal. How much of a difference does that make? Completely change your mindset, even with lots of time left. You can be more aggressive with the comfort that you have a 1-0 lead. Sends it over to Malone. Steps into all of that. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Sends it across. Scores! We're all tied up! And now their bench has a little more belief as they've evened up the score. You don't get many of these odd man rushes in the game, so when you do get one, you better take advantage. Really nice play. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. We are all tied up in this one. 
Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Moussa to Mahabalic. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Let's it fly! Calgary's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Otto's got it into offensive territory. Here's the Whoa. pass! There's the go-ahead goal, and we have a new game! Taking the lead now, you control it. You push the pace, you push the other guys back on their heels. If you're the goalie here, you just want to move as quick as you can. Maybe it'll hit you, but it's so close to the net that pass is on the tape and off the tape in a hurry. Calgary's goal scorers have given them a one-goal lead here in the first period. I've liked the way that they came out and started this game. Now that they have the one-goal lead, see if they can expand upon it. Calgary's got the puck along the boards. Back on a stick now. Here's a chance. Rips it from the blue line. Denies him. He got all of it. And off the save, that one goes into the crowd for a souvenir. Just here in the late stages of this frame, the Flames are hanging on to this one goal lead. They'd love to add another. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Oh, comes up with a stop. Puck grabbed by Lemieux. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Quick feed to Russell. Gilmore's got it across the line. Gilmore's taking the puck behind the net. Big save. Smothered that in close chance. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Here's a blast! Officials blowing the play dead. We've got a penalty on the way here. Tripping is the call. Did he sell or is that the right one in your mind? I think it's the right one. He looks like he's picking up speed and the stick gets into his feet. And the man advantage unit comes out to go to work. It'll be their initial power play of the evening, James. The best power plays, they move the puck and move their feet at the same time. You'll force the penalty killers back a little more defensively than they'd like to be. That's off a stick. Stop with ease. Pittsburgh's got possession while undermanned and manages to clear the zone. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Here's a chip. He's got a step. Oh, and he missed the opportunity there. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Taken along the wall by Fleury. Neuendijk's got it in the offensive end. And not much on that one. And now it's grabbed by Neuendijk. Again, the denial by the goaltender. I wanted to get another look at this one, James. This looks like it hurts. I'm glad I'm in a suit here. Calgary's execution has been on point so far here in this first period. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Stones him in front. And the first period comes to an end. This first intermission coming up, and it's a chance for both sides to breathe. We've got a 2-1 game here after the first period. And while both teams get a refresher, we'll take one ourselves heading into the second period. won't have a lot of time to work with as play resumes here at the start of this period. The Flames' power play has expired. Both teams now back at even strength. Carries it across the line. Calgary's got a hold of it along the wall. McKinnis carries the puck in his own zone. Moves the puck to Neuendijk. Pittsburgh's ready to go on the attack. 
takes the shot. Simple glove saved by Vernon. Nice feed from the goaltender. Moves it quickly over to Flurry. They've got numbers. Oh, you would have had that, Ferraro. Not really. I mean, I, I think <laughs> I tried the same shot, but you don't hit the net. You don't give yourself a chance. Stopped by the goaltender. Flurry's carrying it ahead. Takes a shot. Oh, what a save with a glove. Whoa, well, there's another good scoring chance turned away, this time with the glove. What a nice stop. Calgary's lead here in the second period, a direct result of being the more aggressive team offensively. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Just bashes them against the boards. Don't worry, James. You're safe up there. Down here, that sounded like a car crash. Look at that right oh. there. Wow, he lowered the shoulder down. He read that play so cleanly, he was able to close up the ice. Nowhere for him to go. Just a cinder block he ran into. He scores! That's three, Ray. Yeah, just they haven't taken their foot off the gas pedal at all here. Once they got that first one, they kept pushing away. Now they've got three. Really nice play. Quick pass on the tape and into the net. So quickly, the goalie can't get closed up and make the save. Calgary's now taken a two-goal lead here in the second. How they got into this point? by being the better team, quite simply. They've had the majority of shots on goal, they've had the best of the chances, and they've capitalized more on those chances. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. More than half the period left to play. Calgary's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. The Flames continue to lead in the second. They have been the busier team in the shot department, and as a result, they lead. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Carries it in. Here's a shot, and that banks off a stick. Quick pass to Schultz. And he gains the zone here. It's a two-on-one comes up with the stop. Ramage is taking it from his own end. Feeds the puck to McDonald. The Penguins look to start the transition game. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Calgary's message going into this one when we talked to them at the morning skate was to get a lot of pucks on net. They've done just that, and they lead as a result. Over the line they come. Takes that one right in the logo. And there's the whistle. Yeah, he got a little testy once the whistle blown. He's pushing them out of there. Coffee's turning this challenge down. That's not part of his game. Calgary's done a nice job of generating pucks on net, and as a result, they lead here in the second. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Hammers a shot, and a great save! Whistle blown as that's redirected into the crowd. Calgary's lead here in the second period, a direct result of being the more aggressive team offensively. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. It's in the back of the net. We're being called off immediately here. Yeah, goalie interference, James. Uh, the ref has waved this off immediately. Predictably, the goal scorer thinks this should stand, but I don't see any way the goaltender wasn't able to move. This shouldn't count. No, it doesn't look like it waved off emphatically right from the get-go the moment it entered the back of the net. Play set to resume, and you can see they're still frustrated by that non-goal call. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Here's a short pass to Hadfield. Manages to hang on. Great hit Whoa. on the play. Scores! Well, it zips 
on by him here, but there's no chance for him. There's so many people in front of him. He's trying to find the shooter, locate the puck, and then make a move. There's just not enough time. Pittsburgh's back to set a race, and now it is just a deficit of one. What a difference just the one goal makes in the way that you look at the game. What makes you think is possible. They only need one more to even this up. Snaps it on net. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, he's trying to box him out. This is getting a little testy. And the challenge is accepted. Roberts is roaming around looking for somebody else to fight. He just can't find it. Clearly over, James. The Flames will want to build on that. On the road, you want to be as aggressive as you possibly can. Late goings of this period. Pittsburgh's trailing by one. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Way too much congestion blocks that. There's a shot with the stop. He scores! It looked like he had made the save, but that's in the back of the net for a goal. This is what happens when a guy gets puck focused. He's now chasing the puck pretty soon. He's two or three strides away from where he needs to be. Can't get back to the slot to defend what he should be. Calgary's goal here late in the second has to take a ton of wind out of the sails from their opposition here. I don't see how it could. not You're only one down. You feel pretty good about yourself. Now you're down two. It's a pretty tough spot to be. Here's an odd man rush. He got all of that hit. Slides the puck down low. Wide of the net. I like the shot. He didn't miss it by much, though. Look out, a two-on-one. Sends it over. Scores! Quick blast. No chance. Excellent puck movement on the odd man rush. They catch them short, and they make them pay. continue to do what they've been doing all night, produce offensively. They look like such a better team. Every time they get a chance, I expect them to score. Calgary's got a hold of it against the wall. Slides the puck over. Unloads from the blue line. Big time stop. Hard sales bringing the second period to an end. The third period is just around the corner. Ray and I'll bring you all the action in a moment. here in the offensive zone. Saucer pass. Unleashes a cannon! And he stands tall in goal! Pittsburgh's in now. Moves with the puck at the corner. 
Blocker save! Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. To his teammate! Stopped by the goaltender. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. Rocked him in the open ice. The Flames gain control of the puck against the wall. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Fleury's got it along the wing. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. Pass across to Malone. Slides it back to the blue line. That's a solid check on the play. He'll keep it alive and moves it ahead. Calgary's got it across the line. Grabbed along the board by Gilmore. Too many bodies in the way. He scores! Oh, what a play as he gets his own rebound and puts it in. Oh, Shooter puts his own rebound away. That's a nice play. But man, the goalie burped this rebound out, made it way too easy for him. The Penguins are going to swap goaltenders. He can't get over to the bench quick enough. Now he can get rid of that mask, throw in a ball hat, wrap a towel around his neck, and try and relax. This has been a rotten night for him. Calgary's all too aware there's no mercy rule in hockey. They continue to apply the pressure. No, they're laying a beating on these guys now. It may be time to lay back just a bit. A little rock him, suck him on the play. Calgary's got a hold of the puck. Pittsburgh's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Forces the turnover in the neutral zone. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. Calgary's increased their lead as they've increased their body contact. They look like they've taken the heart away from their opposition. Calgary's laying a pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. Takes the feed. Closes the gap along the wall. McDonald's swooping in on the attack. Slides it across. Shot right in front. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Pittsburgh's regained possession of the puck. Picked up along the boards by Mahovlich. The Flames get a hold of the puck along the boards. Pittsburgh's got the puck in the defensive end. Feeds it on over to Hatfield. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. The Flames are in the lead, and now they seem intent on just wearing their opponent down. They've had by far the most physical period. Calgary's showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. Taken by Bodger. Fires one. Blocked in front. They fight for it along the boards. The Penguins scoop it up along the boards. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Sends a pass over. Now a quick pass to Schultz. Knocked away. Pittsburgh's ready to go on the attack. Nice feed at center. Moves up ahead now. Sends it to the opposite corner. Calgary's gained possession along the boards. Stones him with the blocker. <laughs> Calgary's put in one of their most complete efforts that we have seen in quite some time. A big time late in this third. Buck is dropped and we are back underway. He got all of that one. Break away. Shuts it down with a poke check. I like this move here. He had a position to look and see the shooter and put his head down for a moment. Out comes the poke check. And the Risky puck though, Rick. He scores. That's the hat trick. Now, what a great feeling to get three goals in a game. Doing it on the road is a, is a real nice trick. He doesn't waste any time getting this puck off his stick. The snapshot beats the goaltender from the high slot.
Calgary's goal-scoring abilities have been on full display so far this evening and here in the third. Really impressive display. They've moved the puck well, skated, really forechecked. Well, there's really nothing they haven't done tonight. Moves it to Lemieux. Puck picked up by Murphy. And now he tries to get it across to Lemieux. There's the whistle stopping the play with an offside. This is when you want run time. The Flames wanted to focus on putting more pucks on net going into tonight's game. They have done just that and then some here in the third. Scooped up along the wall by Murphy. That's sent in deep. Puck scooped up by Suter. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. Let's it go, and there's the save. One of the things he was working on is trying to control where the puck goes after he stops it. But he scores! Deuce is wild for him now. Well, that makes your night. I'll tell you, it's great to score one. You get a second one. It's such a rush. Thinking had he yet? Oh, he should be. I mean, he's got two in the bag already. I'll tell you one guy that would be thinking had he, me. No way sometimes for the goalie to catch up to the pass. It's too quick. It's one-timed into the net. Calgary's up big time here in the late stages of this third period. Neuendijk's won it. Puck grabbed by Ramage. Here they are on the attack. Sends it across. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Winds up, lets it go. Long jam in front. That's broken up. It is all over. Every once in a while, everything comes together for a complete victory. And I felt that's what happened tonight. They had the puck, they shot the puck. They got it back, they shot it again. Really a dominating performance. You know, I know people like to point the finger at goaltenders when they give up lots of goals, but in this case, it's hard to blame him with the amount of offense that he was seeing there. Well, there's no way he's gonna be able to hold the door shut. That was domination. And that'll do it from ringside, everyone. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Get home safely. Thanks so much for joining us.